Let me show you how to add a TripAdvisor reviews feed like this to your Elementor website to boost your business and increase conversions. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you embed reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, and more in beautiful feeds like this with no coding needed. After purchasing Reviews Feed Pro, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Here we are now on our WordPress dashboard and to install Reviews Feed Pro, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click Add New. Next, click Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. And as you can see, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. You get started with creating your first TripAdvisor Reviews Feed. On the left-hand side, click on Reviews Feed. Next, at the top, you'll have to paste your Smash Balloon license key. Copy from your Smash Balloon account, paste it here, and click Activate. And just like that, our license key has been activated and we can begin creating our TripAdvisor Reviews Feed. To get started, click on Add New at the top. And for our first step, we'll have to add a source for our Reviews Feed. Click Add Source, and this will show you all the different options you can use as a source inside the plugin. With Reviews Feed Pro, you can embed reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed your TripAdvisor reviews. So we can select it like this and click Next. For step number two, we'll have to enter our TripAdvisor API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, paste it here like this and click Next. And for our last step, we'll have to paste the URL for the TripAdvisor page we want to fetch our reviews from. For this tutorial, I'm going to display reviews from Virgil's Real Barbecue in Times Square. To add this as a source, you simply have to go and copy the URL at the top. And back inside the plugin, you can paste it and click Finish. And now we can see that Virgil's Real Barbecue has been added as a TripAdvisor source, and it's already selected for us, so we can go click on Next. And for our final step, we'll have to select a template for the layout of our reviews feed. We have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, and more. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the carousel template and click Next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new TripAdvisor reviews feed inside the plugin. All the latest TripAdvisor reviews for Virgil's Real Barbecue are displayed inside this feed. And since we selected the carousel template, we can swipe through the reviews inside our feed like this. Our TripAdvisor reviews feed is now ready to be embedded inside our Elementor webpage. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this feed to really make it your own. Under the Customize tab on the left hand side, go into Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your reviews feed. At the top, you can select from three different layout options. Currently, we have the carousel layout selected, and as I've shown you, this allows you to swipe through your reviews like this. And above that, we have the masonry layout, which displays your reviews in rows and columns with the reviews in their original sizes. And lastly, we have the list layout at the top. This displays your reviews in a single column list, as you can see here. For this tutorial, I'm going to stick with the carousel layout, and if you look below, you can also choose how many reviews you want to display. Currently, we're displaying up to nine reviews, but if you want to change that, you can simply enter the number of reviews you want to display, just like this. You can see instantly that the changes have been made inside our feed. We previously only had four reviews displayed inside our feed with a maximum of nine, but now we only have three posts displayed as we've changed it over here. I'm going to change it back to nine, and you can do the same for tablet and mobile as well. Underneath that, you can also customize the number of columns you want to display inside your feed. Currently, we have three columns, but for this demonstration, let me change it to two. And straight away, you can see that we now only have two columns inside our feed. And if you scroll down below, you have some additional options specifically for the carousel template. The first option is to show navigation arrows, which you can see over here on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of your feed. These are buttons you can click on to swipe through the reviews. Underneath that, you can also show pagination dots. These are the ones at the bottom, right here, which you can click on to swipe through the reviews, like this. And if you wanted to disable any of these features, you can simply turn it off like this. And as you can see, our navigation arrows and pagination dots have now disappeared. I'm going to bring that back. And lastly, we can also enable autoplay. Let me show you. If I enable it, you can see that our feed is automatically cycling through the reviews right now. For this tutorial, I'm going to disable autoplay, and if you're happy with the layout of your reviews feed, go click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header at the top of your feed, under the customize tab, go into the header menu. On this page, you can see all the different elements inside the header of your feed, such as the heading, average review rating, and the writer review button on the right hand side. Each of these elements can be fully customized and enabled or disabled if you'd like to. For example, if you wanted to hide the writer review button, you can go into the left hand side and disable it here. You can see straight away that the button has now disappeared inside the header of our feed. I'm going to bring that back and you can do the same thing with the heading and the average review rating, just like this. And if you want to disable the header entirely, you can go and toggle it off at the top. And right away, you can see that the header has now disappeared entirely from our reviews feed. I'm going to bring that back. And if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to customize how each individual review is displayed inside your feed, under the Customize tab once again, go into Reviews. Next, click on Edit Individual Elements. On this menu, you can see all the different elements inside each review, such as the author and date, 
rating, review paragraph, and images and videos if they're available. Just like the header, you can choose to enable or disable any element inside the reviews. For example, if I wanted to hide the rating, I can simply go and deselect it here. And straight away, you can see that the rating has now disappeared inside the reviews. And if I wanted to bring it back, I can reselect it once again. But this time, you might notice that our rating is now at the bottom of each review. This just demonstrates how you have complete control over how the elements are stacked inside each review. If I wanted to move the star rating back to the top, I can click and drag it to the top just like this. And you can see straight away that the star rating is now back in its default position. You can do the exact same thing with all the other elements too. For example, if I wanted to move the author and date to the bottom, I can click and drag it to the bottom like this. And just like that, the author and date is now at the bottom of each review. I'm going to move that back. And if you're happy with the changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to moderate the reviews inside your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Inside, you can see several options to filter the reviews you display inside your feed. At the top, you can choose to filter reviews based on their star rating. And you can see already that I'm only displaying reviews that are 4 stars or 5 stars. And underneath that, you can also add words as filters, so that your feed only shows or hides reviews containing those words. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also filter reviews based on their character count, with a minimum and maximum character count. This way, you can decide if you want to display short, bite-sized reviews or long, in-depth ones. The choice is yours. With these filtering and moderation options, you can choose the exact reviews you display inside your reviews feed. And if you added any filters, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your TripAdvisor reviews feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your Elementor web page. To do that, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. Now inside your page, you can click on edit with Elementor. Here we are now inside our Elementor web page, and this is the section where we can embed our TripAdvisor reviews feed. To embed it inside our page, we first have to add a shortcode block. You can go ahead and search for shortcode, and it's this one here. We can drag it and drop it in place. And now on the left hand side, we can paste the shortcode that we copied earlier, just like this. And you can see instantly that the reviews feed has now been added to our Elementor page. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live Elementor web page. And now inside a live Elementor web page, we have our brand new TripAdvisor reviews feed that we just created. This feed is currently displaying all the latest TripAdvisor reviews from Virgil's Barbecue. And since we selected the carousel template, you can easily swipe through the reviews on your feed like this. Inside each review, you can see the author name, when the review was posted, the profile picture, and the star rating for that review as well. In the top right hand corner of each review, you can see the TripAdvisor icon indicating that the review is from TripAdvisor. At the top of your TripAdvisor reviews feed, we have the header that we created. Inside, you can see the overall number of reviews, and on the right hand side, we also have a write a review button. If a site visitor clicks on that, that will take you directly to a page on TripAdvisor where you can leave a review for that business. This makes it super convenient for your site visitors to go and leave TripAdvisor reviews for you directly from your WordPress website. And that's how you can create, customize, and embed a fast and responsive TripAdvisor reviews feed like this on your Elementor website with no coding needed. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.